Hello everyone. I have a question for you. Do you do kind deeds for people or do you volunteer for events, volunteer to help people? Like, do you do things for people to get praised? Is the number one motivating factor of you helping people is for people to, in a sense, lift you up, for you to get attention, for people to give you pats on the back. And if you don't get the type of attention and praise that you want, what you may do is cause a big fuss. Begin complaining. Hey, you know, I have been cooking for so many hours and no one came to me and told me thank you. No one came to me and did some things for me. Like, why do I have to do so much and no one really appreciates me. Like, are you that type of person? When you do things for people, you want to be honored so highly. Like, you want so much attention and whatever else like that. Are you this way? Let me say this. There's nothing wrong with being thanked. But if you volunteer for something, if you truly want to help someone, stop looking for so much attention. Stop looking for people to return the favor unless it was agreed on prior. Let's go to Matthew chapter 6, verse 1. Take heed that ye do not your arms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise, ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven. When you do kind deeds for people, do it from the heart. Don't do it because you know you are going to be praised. Don't do it because you are seeking for so much attention. Do it because of love. Do it because, like, you care for people or that person. Verse 2, Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, <clears throat> that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Let's look up the word alms. Uh, money or food given to poor people. I may be wrong about this, but I believe alms, in a sense, I guess, can be kind deeds, like giving your time to people, like helping people in some type of way, which I may be wrong about that, but okay. Anyways, let me go back to verse 2. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Once again, when you help people, 
Stop looking for attention. Stop going around, hey, you know, I'm, I'm giving $2,000 to this organization, you know, uh, like, don't do that. Looking for attention, looking for people to praise you, looking for like, you know, like, hey, um, if I donate to this place, and I want so much attention. I heard if I give money, they will write my name in front of the building. That is not right. When it comes down to the Bible, per se. Let's define glory. High renown or honor won by notable achievements. Okay, so when you do your alms, stop looking for glory. Stop looking for pats on the back. Like, oh, Kevin, uh, you are so kind. You are so good. You are so nice for helping these people out. And let's say I do it for people to butter me up. That is not right. I really hope we all are learning something from this. Or at the end of verse 2, Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. So if the reason why you are helping people is to receive glory and to be praised, that is your reward. Verse 3. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. So when you help people, do it in secret. I guess in some cases, um, some people may find out you helped someone, but when you help people, have it in your mind like, hey, I am helping this person, not because I want praise, not because I want them to give me pats on the back, but I am helping this person because I care for them. The Bible encouraged us to do it. So the reason why I am doing it is because of God, not for attention and honor from people. Does that make any sense? Verse 4, that thine alms may be in secret. And thy father, which seeth in secret himself, shall reward thee openly. Ding, 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 ding. Let me ask you a question. Would you rather be rewarded by God or by people? It may be nice for you to hear people say, you are so nice, you are so generous, uh, you are so amazing, God will bless you, so on and so on. But I believe, you know, I am not uh, very intelligent. You know, I was not the top of my class, but even with that, I believe God can reward you better than people can. If I am looking for praise from people, Okay, whatever. 
But what God can do for me is so much better than what people can say about me. They may bow down to me. They may give me hugs and whatever else like that. But what God can do is so much better than humans, right? I believe so. Do your alms in secret. Stop looking to be praised. Stop looking for so much attention. Okay. Maybe when you were younger, you did not have too much attention. You know, your father and mother probably did not show you so much attention. So as an adult now, you crave attention so much. Too much. To where you purposely do things for people to be praised. Hey. That needs to stop. That really needs to stop. There is nothing wrong with people. Now, if people choose to do this and that, fine. But if the reasoning for you to do things for people is to be praised, you need to stop that. The thing that really needs to change, honestly, is our hearts. Many of us are very selfish, very self-centered. Like, many of us may look at a situation and think, what do I gain from it? And if you can't really think of what you gained from it, you may not be even interested in helping. Now, I am not saying that uh, you need to give all your money away, all your time away, so on and so on. But what really needs to change is us. This life is more than us, more than just seeking our needs. This life is more than just us and our families. We need to be concerned about other people. We need to have love for people. Okay, will there be some people where you may have to stay away from? You know, there may be some people who are troublemakers, people who look for trouble, people who may have been raised wrongly. Listen, the focus can't always be on us. The spotlight can't always be on us. Like, everything is not about our needs and wants. Sometimes we have to focus on other people. Sometimes we may have to go, how can I say this? Go out of our, of our way for people. In essence, be selfless and less 
selfish. May God bless us.